Hey, it's Giguk, and you're watching Pixel Party Pals. <laughs> I got it right on my first take. <laughs> it is! <laughs> right, hey guys, how are we doing? So, um, a few of you suggested this, and a few of you said that I don't need to have seen Aeromanga Sensei to appreciate this video, and I'll be honest, I've not seen Aeromanga Sensei. <laughs> I have a slight idea as to what it is, and a lot of people seem to have different opinions on this. Even Helsing Ultimate Bridge Finale mentioned it. What was it that Alucard said? Um, oh, my mind's going blank. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and, yeah, <laughs> I think Giguk's funny. So let's just get into this. This is Aeromanga Sensei, a modern masterpiece. Um, okay. What? Occasionally we are blessed with a show which upsets the natural order of things and oftentimes can change Hunter, the way Hunter. we view entire genres or a medium. The original Mobile Suit Gundam revolutionized the way we saw mechas, grounding yes. it in a commentary of war I and did. politics. Akira opened up the door to international God damn, what a film. pushing the limits of what animation can do that really stands good. to this day. But today I would like to bring attention to a currently airing show which I feel is a classic in the making that would change the landscape and will be talked about for years to come. Right. The masterpiece, that is. Aeromanga Sensei. Oh, what's going on? Masterfully disguised as the typical <laughs> fan service harem show we've seen a million times every season, one can easily assume that this is just another otaku bait anime appealing to the lowest common denominator. Right. But the more I watched, the more I came to the realization that Aeromanga Sensei is a true masterpiece of our time. Mm -hmm. Now, understandably, you may be skeptical with words like masterpiece yes. thrown around a lot these days, but I assure you. Those of us who understand can attest to everything that this show has been able to achieve. <laughs> what the hell? Sensei is the latest addition to the glorious Emoto genre, which has seen a huge surge within anime in recent what? years, along with genres like the Isekai genre, the Slice of Life genre, and the Dear God, Just Please Kill It With Fire oh. genre. For those of you <laughs> unaware, Emoto is the Japanese name given to the little... Sister, and the genre normally involves a focus on her and her Oni Chan, which translated to English is basically what she calls her fuck buddy. Coming from the same uh, life level that uh, wrote the revolutionary My Little hard. Sister Can't Be This Cute, a show which everyone thought was going to be the good old incest bait and switch, only to realize that the show was doing exactly what it said on the fucking no. tin. His latest work aims to push the boundary even further on his eternal mission oh, to alienate no. every sibling pair on Earth and possibly the entire cosmos. This time, it focuses on a young light novel author who discovers his shut-in little sister, who's not related by blood, was the well, famous <laughs> erotic illustrator, Eromanga Sensei, who has been drawing the illustrations for him this entire time. Oh my God. And thus, we follow our daily adventures as our lead meets a bunch of other underage girls who vie for his attention against his not-related-by-blood little sister. Did I mention the sister's not related by blood? Yes, keep... That's really important. Right, okay. Now, I'm... you may be asking yourself, <laughs> so I'm so glad. how can such a series be considered a masterpiece? I mean, it just sounds like another super trashy show. Yeah. This is a common misconception, as Eromanga Sensei isn't just a trashy show. No. High School DXD is a trashy show. Yeah. High School of the Dead is a trashy show. Okay. Immortal Umaru-chan is a trashy show. Aeromanga Sensei, it's something else. It is an enigma that transcends the limits <laughs> of trash It's just itself. flying above the it trash. It something beyond. A perfect car crash of <laughs> garbage that takes the lowest common denominator and divides that by zero. This isn't just trash. It's a full-on fucking landfill. And right. doing so has become the ultimate work of art. Not oh. all heroes wear okay. capes and not all art belongs in a gallery. But if a urinal can be tastefully presented as an <laughs> art piece, then we must ask, why can't we do the same with a lolly saying, I love dick? But of course, <laughs> not all art can be appreciated by everyone, which is why to understand the full extent of this masterpiece, one needs to fully accept who they really are. In Buddhism, it is said that the root of all suffering uh, is attachment, right. and Eromanga Sensei has a similar mantra about it. For you see, it is this attachment you must first sever yourself from before you will be ready. Appreciation right. can only be achieved once you let go of everything. Self-esteem, shame, human decency, shame. dignity, and oh any chance. 
your parents looking at you with pride. You must dedicate so years of your up. life enveloped in the world of anime. And I'm not talking about good, well-written shows. Fan service, glorious jiggling tits, <laughs> uncomfortable fetishes, adorable Jesus. anime girls, becoming one with the idea of panty shots. Throw yourself off the deep end with no safety net to catch you, as only once you are fully dedicated to this lifestyle will you reach true enlightenment and come to the realization <laughs> of the one undeniable truth of this world. Oh god. Anime is trash. So that's where it came from. And so am I. That's so am I, right? There we go, that's where it came trash, from. Okay. You must first become it, and once you have reached this higher plane of degeneracy, will you begin to realize the miracle that well, has befallen mangas. us here? Because. This is beyond what everyone thinks it is. It's not really an incest show because they aren't related by blood. <laughs> that That's okay. Totally acceptable. No. And you see, no, it's it not this weird sexualization <laughs> no. of 12 year old Lolly no. because so they're weird. just anime characters no. that don't even exist. No. Officer. Somehow Stop, the show officer. manages to speak them. <laughs> Which is a testament to how revolutionary <laughs> it is. Every episode you go in thinking, there's no way this show can go any lower. Right. And then against all odds. It does. It does. Oh, See, God. while other shows may say <laughs> so shot fan service, Error Manga has the guts to say uh. Moe Lolly incest Siscon bondage panty shot fan service with a dash of O Chin Chin. If there was a single flaw in this show, it would be so probably weird. with the title. Error Manga Sensei is short, relevant, and to the point. Right. But with only two words, I think there is vast room for improvement, as this is nowhere near the recommended word count for a standard light novel title. Right, Some okay. Some examples You're right. have been, My Some little sister long. can't be this cute, but this time she draws ah. lewd art and is 12. Surely there's no <laughs> possible way we can make this go trashier next week, right? Or my personal favourite, oh fuck it. I was already going to hell. This is not mentioning one of the greatest opening and ending sequences to ever grace the world of anime. And no, it's not because of this expertly drawn calf muscle, but of course, the Sagari dance. Previous what? anime dancers may have spread through this community through a catchy, well-animated choreographed dance, but Eromanga Sensei asks, why do you need to put all that effort in when you can just wave your arms around like some kawaii twat? Oh, well, you know, Great it's whatever. What? Maybe I'm overstating it. I mean, it's just a cute girl waving her arms around at the end of the day, right? It's not like I could watch this on repeat for hours or something. You know, it's it's not it's it's not that addicting. I don't I don't have a problem. Uh just don't understand! Yet somehow <laughs> against all odds, the show has somehow managed to dodge the best girl war. As we all have a mutual you don't understand. we choose as best God. girl, we are all losers anyway. Oh, I mean, God. we all know that Sagari is going to win, so what's the point of resisting that when we already have someone top tier? Okay. Maybe you're someone who thinks someone like Amelia is a good waifu, and if you do, that's completely fine. I do. I have but the I highest like respect for garbage men and the work that they do. But you have to ask yourself, <laughs> is she a socially awkward Emoto lolly who draws lewd pictures, steals panties, and permanently sounds like she's doing ASMR? No. If the answer is no, then that might be a sign for some self-reflection. You think it ends here, but it goes even deeper, as episode 8 what? blows everything everything out of the water. Oh, no. See, with a scene in this episode, we get a shot of Kuroneko, confirming that the show indeed takes place in the same universe as Orimo. But we can also confirm that both Mahoka and Sword Art Online exist in some form, also through references. The implications of which are massive, as this could indicate the beginning of a franchise to rival Marvel itself. Sagari, Kirino, Miyuki and Sugu could join together oh, to create God. the world's first Emoto Cinematic Universe. <laughs> We're getting the ICU, baby! The it's the ICU. ultimate appreciation of things only the Japanese <laughs> can do. Christ. See, the Japanese are absolute experts at creating <sighs> these little inventions you didn't know you needed until you saw them. Right. Just go into any Daiso and you'll see what I mean. I didn't know a Pritt stick of butter would be something I wanted what? until I saw that. What? A tie that doubles up as an umbrella would Whoa. be really useful for living in the UK. That's so cool. And until I saw Ero Manga Sensei, I had no idea all I needed in life was an adorable Emoto to blush and call me Baka. So by now you're hopefully more understanding of the masterpiece that is Era Manga Sensei. Right. A1 pictures have absolutely outdone themselves, and I'm not sure what they could possibly do to get this work closer to perfection. 
The new project where five up and authors publish short stories in a magazine and compete for a publishing spot. Wait a minute, did, did they just add a t tournament arc? <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Defeat four rivals, my god. <laughs> In short, Era Manga Sensei is a masterpiece. A show we only oh get God. once a generation, which is why I can wholeheartedly say that we are witnessing this cultural revolution in action. It's a show that reaches new heights of degeneracy. Trash that transcends so the weird. idea of trash, and something that can only be admired by those few brave warriors who have given up on everything. In years past, we will look so at this weird. time as the redefining era. We'll say the world was never the same after Era Manga Sensei. Right. Era Eramanga Sensei contributed to world peace. But she Eramanga was taking a picture Sensei of her ass. World hunger. Eramanga so Sensei weird. isn't just cancer. Eramanga Sensei gave me cancer. <laughs> and then cured it. And then gave me AIDS instead. Wow. <laughs> the child. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Why did you make me watch that? I blame all of you. <laughs> it's your fault. Oh god, so weird. <laughs> that was very funny there. <laughs> it's gonna turn him out. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Oh, right. So that was, uh, that was that. I think I'll do, um, oh, let me take a breath. I apologise for not doing the two minute one, but at the moment, like I said in my last High School of the Dead video, I have no internet while I'm recording these videos. Now, having to travel back and forth, back and forth to get make sure it's all done. Yeah, I apologise for not having the two minute video in this as well. But it's just that. Uh, I'll probably do the Bunny Girl Sensei, uh, video next from Gigguk, and then, um, go from uh we go from that so yeah thank you guys very much for watching and suggesting that. what do you guys think of that what do you guys think of this click like subscribe if you haven't already leave comments down below let me know what i should watch and discuss in future videos and i'll see you guys yes all of you guys next time